The Academy for the Arts, Science, and Technology. Paradise on Earth. Have you seen it? Let's get this show on the road. Three, two, one. This is my prompter. My assistant director. My anchor. And that's me. I'm Logan A. This is the Academy News. Welcome back to another segment of the Academy News. I'm Morgan Divin. And I'm Sophie McPherson, and we're your hosts for this week's news show. Morgan, I can't believe we made it to our senior year. I know. It feels like just yesterday I walked into the Academy for the first time as a freshman. And now we're seniors preparing for college. Speaking of college, Friday, October 1st is College Application Day. Ambassadors from various colleges will be coming to ASE to help our seniors work on their applications and answer any questions they may have. They will also be giving out free application waivers. Sophie, do you know which colleges might be coming to visit? I heard USC, College of Charleston, Winthrop University, and many more are coming. I can't wait. All schools will be closed Monday, September 6th for Labor Day. Morgan, what will you be doing that day? Probably catching up on homework. Well, you have fun with that. I'll be sleeping all day. You just reminded me, I need to turn in an attendance note. Where should I do that? Do you know where the mailbox on the 500 hallway is? No. Do you know where the door to the front office is? No. Do you know where anything is? Not really. Well, that's okay. I heard the ET students made a tour of the front office for us. Let's go check it out. Hey, AST, welcome to my crib. All right, let's take a tour of the front office so you can meet everybody and know who's who and who's what. Follow me. Right here we have Miss Fur, who's our bookkeeper. Hi, I'm Miss Fur. I'm your bookkeeper. I've been here for over 20 years. I take care of all your fees and fines. So if you need any help, give me a call. Hey, we're at the principal's office, Miss Kelly Wilson, and there she is, Miss <laughs> Wilson. Hello, I'm Kelly Wilson. I'm the principal here at AAST. Um, it is my job uh, to keep all of the students and faculty here safe and secure and to basically ensure that we are the best place to teach and learn. And we go down the hall and this is some more of the crib here. We have posters, college posters, all the colleges, especially my favorite, the University of Georgia. Ooh, ooh. And the number one guy's counselor who's busy on the phone right now is Miss Randall. Hey, my name is Wanda Randall. I'm one of the school counselors here at the Academy for the Arts, Science, and Technology. If you all have any questions or concerns, feel free to email me or you're welcome to stop by. I hope you all are enjoying your time here at the AAST. Have a good day. Now you get to meet your other guidance counselor, Miss Gordon. Hi, I'm Lacey Gordon. I'm the school counselor. So if you ever need anything, our door is always open. Come down and see us in the guidance department. And we're going down the hall to meet our other counselor. Hello everybody, my name is Scotia Salcedo. I go by Miss Scotia. I'm the RBHS counselor at AAST. It's a mouthful, but that means I am the therapist here. Please feel free to stop by. We have a great village here. Okay, now we have Miss Grant who does attendance. Hello, I'm Connie Grant and I'm in charge of student attendance here. So, I will be keeping track of all your absences. Turn in your medical notes, and remember, don't go over your absence limit. Welcome to the new school year. And now, I'm going to introduce you to the nurse. Hi, my name is Terry Cooper. I'm the nurse here at AAST. If you have any issues that you need to come talk to me about, please feel free to do so. I'm always here. Thank you. Now you've seen all of my crib. So welcome to AAST, and I hope you have a great year. Thanks, Ms. Jackson. I'm so glad I know where everything is in the front office now. Yeah, it was extremely helpful, especially for our newer students to the Academy. Makeup pictures will be on Thursday, September 28th for everyone. This includes juniors, seniors, and faculty and staff. AEST yearbooks are now on sale at jossensyearbooks.com. Sophie, are you planning on getting a yearbook? I think my parents got me one whenever they registered me for school this year. Oh, I'm pretty sure those are for base schools. If you want an AST yearbook, you'll have to go on jossensyearbooks.com. Oh, then I definitely need to get on that. Do you have any idea how much they are? They're $60 plus tax. What a steal. 
Speaking of yearbooks, senior ads are now on sale at jostensadservice.com. A full page is $150 and a half a page is $75. You can go online now to design and create your senior ad today. These ads must be submitted and paid for by December 31st. If you have any questions, you can ask Ms. Wagner. You know, it sure is a tight bubble here in the ET major. Sometimes I wonder what the other majors are up to. Well, let's go see for ourselves. We just recently went to the uh, Myrtle Beach Art Museum. Um, we are working on our first project for the major and we are getting ready, uh, getting all of our competition pieces ready for State Fair. I'm Ronnie. And I'm MK. And we're juniors in the DC major. Um, recently we've been working on photography and a yearbook. So we're currently designing an inventory management system for the company Bath & Body Works. Uh, we're simulating what it would be like to work in a real business environment. Um, my name's Aiden. I'm in the innovations major. And um, it's very, very hands-on. Like we have a project coming up where we make a watering system for um, a greenhouse. And right now we're currently making um, a, mem uh, a memento for the school. All right, my name is Shelly Sellers, and I am a junior in the pre-med program this year. Right now, we're actually working on our CPR certifications in Health Science 2. Um, about next week, maybe, we're going to get our actual certification cards. Because right now, we're working with electromagnets and seeing how they work. One of the projects we just did is we took a bolt, wrapped some wire around it, and hooked it to electricity, and it was actually picking up like paper clips and things like that. In medical interventions, we are using the ELISA and BLAST tests to DNA sequence and run labs to identify antigen. Uh, we're also about to start a blood spider analysis lab to identify a crime scene. So um, we've been learning about different cooling systems for the computers. We also learned about the different power supplies. We've also been learning about the environmental impact of our newly advancing technological society. Right now we're learning about binary, which is the base base frame for everything that computers know of, which is their language, zeros and ones, and that's all they know, so we're gonna move on and develop from that and see how computers work with each other. So right now we're working on a compound machine project in the engineering major, and uh, we're really just having a lot of fun working with uh, different simple machines, putting them together uh, to kind of overcome a, a certain advantage. Um, that will lift a weight. All right, right now we're doing a flight simulator on X-Plane 11. First thing we did was learn how to take off, then we learned how to land, and after that we did a little traffic pattern. So right now we're just learning how to land on an airport. In the logistics major, we're working on um, the production and supply chain of bananas currently in my group, and the other group is doing um, diamonds, and we're working on the sourcing from where they're from. It seems like everyone is off to a great start this school year. Students, please make sure that you are parking in your assigned parking spot. If you still need to purchase parking, please go on the website My Payments Plus. The fee is $25. If you have any questions, you can see Ms. Moore at the front desk. I heard that the front desk also has clear backpacks for any student that needs one as well. Yeah, I heard that too. You know what else I heard? What? I heard some of our students gained some new talents over the summer. Let's go check it out. biomedical science and I can juggle.
amazing. You are so awesome. Like, I, I don't know how magical it was, but you looked good doing it. You looked fantastic. I was, I was shocked. It was wonderful. Wonderful. That was extraordinary. Unfortunately, extraordinary bad. Who the heck let you in the building? Yes, I agree. It was utterly ridiculous. Un sprezzo di tempo. A waste of my time. No, don't listen, Dylan. You're wonderful. You're fantastic. Hands down, wonderful. Man, we sure do have loads of talent within our school. Yeah, the Academy sure is a great place to be. If you would like to be more involved at the Academy, there are tons of clubs that you can join. HOSA will be holding its first informational meeting on September 15th. There are competitions for all majors, not just pre-med. It will be held in the community room after school for in-person, or you can join the Google Meet from the Google Classroom. The code is posted all around the school. There will also be a TSA informational meeting Tuesday, September 7th, immediately after school in the community room. Skills USA will have a general interest meeting after school on Wednesday, September 8th as well. Come stop by and see what it's all about. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Academy News. This is Morgan and Sophie signing off. Have, have a great, great day, Academy! Academy.